Welcome to Idol News TV and we're going to check out Demon's Sword, an idol RPG. And here it is, this is going to be your offline income. Now unfortunately you cannot watch ads in order for you to double up those things, but hey, just keep in mind that you're going to get some things whenever you're going to be offline. Your maximum amount is going to be just 12 hours. So you're going to have this samurai, let's say, and he's going to kill a lot, a lot of enemies. You're just going to need to find better and better skills, and you're just going to need to gear him up quite, quite a lot. Also, when you're going to hit more over here, you're going to be able to level him up, but also you're going to be able to increase different kind of stats uh, for attack, defense, HP, and HP recovery. Now for the Pierce Accuracy, Dodge and Samurai Q over here and uh, Q Barrier and whatsoever, you're going to need additional resources, not the golden coins that you're going to find. Besides that, you're going to have the training department over here. Depending on your levels, you're going to get one, uh, let's say, level up point and you're going to use them over here. Okay, so watch out where you're going to place those. Uh, let me show you another thing over here, you're going to be able to rank up and also you're going to be able to use specific resources in Meridian part over here in order for you to try to awaken additional additional things for this warrior, okay? Uh, definitely I've played, let's say, similar idol RPGs. Now, the art over here, the art are the skills that you're going to be able to gather. Not that hard, you're also going to have the awakening part over here. If you're going to have similar ones, the training part over here and the infuse part. Now you're also going to have different kind of missions and as long as you're going to play over here, you're going to complete a lot, a lot of missions. If you're going to click more over here, you're going to have mails, achievements, similar things like in most of those other RPGs, but unfortunately, uh, some of them I didn't yet unlock them. Uh, every once in a while, uh, the game had some bugs and it didn't work for me, but now I'm seeing that it goes really, really smooth. I definitely, they have day, almost daily uh, server maintenance, so watch out for that. So every time that you're going to be able to stay in the game, don't forget to click proceed to the next chapter in order for this guy to advance in the next chapter, next chapter and so on. A lot, lot of chapters, so when you're going to level him up, you're just going to click on those things and leave your phone on, okay, in order for him to progress. Now, as you can see, I quite um, uh, am able to take quite, quite a lot, a lot of damage, but unfortunately, the game goes really, really low. It doesn't have a second speed, let's say, so just leave your phone on in order for it to go further and further, okay. Now, you're going to have the login bonuses over here, depending on how many days or how many quests did you complete over here uh, just try to do your best you're also going to have different kind of passes over here if you're going to put real money you're going to get additional additional things uh, similar games uh, uh, have kind of the same idea this has a different kind of graphic uh, just keep in mind that for each specific uh, level or floor over here you're going to need to kill some around uh, 100 enemies so definitely it's going to take a while until you're going to be able to progress over here okay so Keep in mind to do some summons, definitely you're going to need better and better gear. Uh, you're going to have this outfit over here eventually. Uh, depending on your outfit, you're going to get additional additional benefits out of this one as well. It's not that hard. Also, you're going to have different kind of treasures that you're going to be able to unlock if you're going to summon them. But if you're going to have those resources and also you're going to have a tower over here, okay? Now this is kind of the endless tower that you have in those idle RPGs and as long as you're going to be able to go forward you're going to collect more and more resources. Similar things uh, as I mentioned like in uh, some of those idle RPGs. Uh, the graphic the differs a bit but besides that nothing else honestly nothing else. So guys if you have played this one and went further drop a comment let me know how far you reach an interesting idol RPG with a Japanese team let's say. So give this game a try. A lot a lot of um, words are with uh, those Japanese writings so not everything is uh, in English over here so let's hope that they will have a full English version really really fast. Until then take care don't forget to subscribe and don't forget it's an idol RPG eventually you are going to get stuck and you do definitely need to go offline when you're going to do that just try to jump in a different game okay now you're going to have the subject over here again different kind of dungeons uh, if you're going to have enough keys you're going to be able to enter these dungeons and you're going to be able to farm for different kind of uh, resources that you need similar similar things as i mentioned like in those other other rpgs guys until next time take care and don't forget to subscribe bye